Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. or I'd think you were calling for your mate. I gotta sing tonight, and I want my voice to be in shape. I know, I know. Hey, Lucy, have I got everything? Yeah, I think so. Good. Hey, Lucy, what? I can't give this shut. Oh, here, let me help you. You just don't know how. That's using your head. <laughs> oh, Lucy, I just can't believe it. What? Me! Last week, a librarian, this week in show business, going to Palm Springs, me. Well, if you find it so hard to believe, I got it right here in black and white. Listen to this. The popular Vagabonds group has added Carol Bradford as their featured vocalist for their appearance at the Palm Springs Golf Classic. How <laughs> <All> about that? <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You know, when I get nervous, I get the... Up. I know. Oh, I wish you were going with me. Oh, now, Carol, I'd love to, but I can't. Oh, but if you were going with me, I wouldn't be so nervous. Oh, it's such a beautiful place, and you'd meet such a lot of people. I and, know. Oh, it'd be such fun. I know, honey. Hey, Lucy, you know some of the most eligible bachelors in the world play in that golf tournament. Oh? Hey, Lucy, all the members of the act get their room and board free. So? Well, we'll just say that you're one of us, and they won't know the difference. Oh, I couldn't do oh, that. Lucy. Oh, please come with me. Oh, honey, I can't. Besides, Mr. Mooney is bringing some work over here for me to do over the weekend. He'll be here any minute. Lucy, why don't you pretend you're sick and then let him get somebody else to do the work? Pretend I'm sick? Yeah. What would I say was wrong with me? Uh, how about a sore throat or, oh, or a broken arm? Yeah. But, no... Oh, well. Come in! Good morning, Miss Carmichael. Good morning, Mr. Mooney. Forgive me for not going to the door, but I, 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 I was just unable to climb those stairs. Well, uh, what, what's wrong? I don't know. It just hit me all of a sudden. I just feel black. Oh, that's too bad. However, I firmly believe that if people get busy working, they get their minds off themselves and they feel much better. <laughs> but this poor girl has been very sick all day. Oh? Oh, oh, Mr. Mooney, this is my roommate, Carol Bradford. Well, how do you do? So you're that nice, sweet, considerate boss Lucy's always talking about. Oh, she must be sick. <laughs> Oh, this is very upsetting. This work is so important that maybe if I sent my doctor over to that... Your doctor? Oh, no, 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 Mr. Mooney. Uh, all she needs is complete rest over the weekend. She'll snap out of this. I don't think it's fatal. Oh, I hope not. I hope... Uh, goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Uh... <laughs> oh, uh, just in case it is fatal, would you try to find out where she keeps my stamps and petty cash? <laughs> Hey, <laughs> isn't this a life? Oh, yeah, just great. Oh, and I think the rooms are beautiful. Aren't they too much? Oh, I love the <laughs> colors. Yeah. Why are you putting that up there? It's closer to the sun. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's good. What are you doing? Well, I want to get some sun on my 
my neck so I won't have a white blotch. Oh, yeah. I always have trouble getting the inside of my arms tan. It's tough to get an even tan. Sure is. Pardon? Ah! I'm Mr. Haskell, the hotel manager. Oh, how do you do? <laughs> I was just checking your accommodations. When I engaged this group, I was under the impression there was only one woman in the act. Oh, wouldn't... Uh, no, there must be some mistake. Uh, Miss Carmichael here is a very important member of the group. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, I'll look forward to seeing you perform. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, Carol, I was afraid something like this was going to happen. When he finds out I don't work in the act, he'll throw me right out of here. Now, don't you worry. We'll figure out some way to use you in the act. What can I do? Well, there must be something you can do. Well, I, 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 I can play glow, little glow worm. I'm an E-flat alto sax. <laughs> I learned it in the eighth grade. No, somehow I don't think this is going to be a glow, little glow worm audience. Oh, I better start packing. Oh, no, Lucy, please stay with me. We'll figure out something. Well, what? Oh, you got to stay, Lucy. I'm going to be so I, nervous. I want to stay. Alive. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're bringing you all the color preceding tomorrow's annual Palm Springs Golf Classic. And here to open the festivities, a great musical group, The Vagabonds, featuring Carol Bradford and Lucy Carmichael. Along the beach and by Kiki, a fair white waiting for me. With the dark eyes and lovable charms, a very sweet of iron hospitality. A hooky dock and I'll hooky dock and I'll a hooky dock and I'll hooky hooky now. A hooky dock and I'll hooky hooky now. A hooky dock and Honolulu, beautiful Honolulu. Honolulu, located in the singular island of Oahu. Oahu spelled backwards is Fishes come swimming to me. Oh, we're going to a hooky laugh. A hooky, 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 hooky. Hala banana, hala banana, hala banana, hala banana. like bargains in the supermarket. <laughs> May I help you? Uh, uh, no, I was just browsing. <laughs> Lucy, look! Colin Grant's playing in the tournament. 
Colin Grant, the millionaire sportsman? Yeah. Oh. Oh, what a man. Not only rich, but so handsome, so adventurous. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I like about him the most? What? He's so single. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to keep up, though, with the way the women keep throwing themselves at him. Yeah, I don't know how women can do that. I could never run after a man. You know, I think that is probably the most foolish thing any woman has ever done. Carol, I know. I wonder if I could have my starting time. My name is Grant, Colin Grant. Oh, yes, sir. 10.30 tomorrow morning. <gasps> you know, I think my browsing is over. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how I could get to meet him. You see, I know. Mm -hmm. I'll go over and ask him for his autograph, and then I'll bring you over. You'll uh, ask him for his autograph and then then bring me over? Yeah. Okay. Carol, huh? you won't forget to bring me over. Hi. Mr. Grant? Yes. Could I have your autograph? Why, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Actually, it, it's not for me. It, it's for my girlfriend. Oh. Yeah, she's just crazy about big game hunting and, and safaris and the jungle. Ah! I'll tell him you were asking for it. My girlfriend's going to be so thrilled with this. Is that so? Why didn't she ask for my autograph herself? Oh, well, to tell you the truth, she's very standoffish about men. She can't stand women who are always chasing after men. Oh, well, that's refreshing. Where is this standoffish friend of yours? Right over there. <laughs> oh. Little lady didn't want to meet me, huh? Not. <laughs> Can't win them all. But I'll see if I can get her over here. <laughs> Lucy, he wants to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> no, Lucy, Lucy, play it cool. Act very standoffish. Standoffish? Yeah, like you don't care. Come on. <laughs> Miss Carmichael, may I present Mr. Grant? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, Lucy was quite interested in that safari film you showed on TV the other night. Oh, is that so? Have you ever done any big game hunting? Oh, I'll say she has. Uh, last winter, she needed a new rug for her ski lodge, and do you know what she did? What? <laughs> she took a little old rifle and went out hunting for a grizzly. A grizzly bear? Yes, uh, back in Wyoming. Oh, yes, that's, that's, that's where I have my skiing lodge. Yeah. Uh, this grizzly was so big that all the hunters called him Old Goliath. Uh, old Goliath. You finally bagged him, huh? Uh, yes, yes. Today, Old Goliath is known as Old Wall to Wall. <laughs> Matter of fact, she's quite a gal. <laughs> Thank you. Say, I hadn't planned on going to this dinner dance they're having here tonight, but I was just wondering. Perhaps you'd like to be my dinner date tonight. Oh, uh, I, uh, I really have been swamped with invitations, but I'd be glad to put your name on the list. Well, I don't want to intrude. On the top of the list. <laughs> well, fine. I'll see you tonight. Uh, yes. Uh, about what time? Well, how uh, about... Uh, Want to make uh, it as early as possible? <laughs> how about uh, eight-ish? Oh, how about half-past-ish? Well, that's okay with me. If you'll excuse me, girls, I want to get out on the practice team. Oh, yes. See you later. Okay. Oh, oh. oh isn't he something? Oh, what a beautiful day I'm having. And what a beautiful night you're going to have. <laughs> Imagine me dating Colin Grant. Oh. Carol, look. Oh, no, are you sure that's your Mr. Mooney? I know it's my Mr. Mooney. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, I thought you were sick. You should have seen me when your name went up. <laughs> 
What are you doing here? Well, Mr. Mooney, it's all my fault. I forced her to come down here to bake out her virus. Yeah, you want a nice, healthy girl showing up for work Monday morning, don't you? Yes, so I'll call the employment agency and have them send me one. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mooney, you wouldn't fire a girl just because she got well, would you? Well, now that you're well, go back to town and get to work. But I can't, I can't leave, Mr. Mooney. Why not? Because, because tonight's one of the most important nights of my whole life. Colin Grant, the famous sportsman, has asked me to go to the dinner dance with him. Colin Grant? Yes. You have a date with Colin Grant? Haven't I? Yes. Why, he's my partner in the tournament. I know, I know. Yeah. Uh, a man like that doesn't like to be stood up, Mr. Mooney. No, if, if, if she stood him up, why, it might throw him right off his game tomorrow. That's right. Oh, I wouldn't want that to happen. Well, 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 if I stood him up, he, he wouldn't be himself at all. You know, he, he'd be nothing but a, a big, broken-hearted slob. Yeah, and it's hard for a big, broken-hearted slob to putt when he has tears in his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you keep that date and for right. once in your life be on time yes sir and you see to it that he enjoys himself yes. this evening yes sir <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. Lucy, there you are. Oh, hello. Well, you two have fun. I'll see you later. Oh, right. wait a minute, Carol. <laughs> Girls, I hope you don't mind if we make it a foursome tonight. Oh. Yes, I've asked a friend of mine to join us for dinner, if you don't mind. Oh, fine. <laughs> hey, partner. Oh, yes, Mr. Grant. <laughs> Let's not be formal about that, Mr. Grant. Ted, I want you to meet Lucy and Carol. We've already met. Uh, oh. Yes. We're old friends, aren't we, Teddy? <laughs> <laughs> well, isn't that nice? Ted, why don't you take care of so, This is our table right here. <laughs> you look lovely, Lucy. Well, thank you. <laughs> showtime, folks. Oh, showtime. That means us. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll uh, have to be excused for a few moments. Well, I didn't know you were an entertainer. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Lucy does this as a hobby. Uh, yes, yes, I donate all my salary to the Society for Underprivileged Secretaries. <laughs> and now we proudly present... The Vagabonds, featuring Carol Bradford and Lucy Carmichael. from dusk to dawn, 
Why, it's so lazy, the fishes would rather yawn than spawn. <laughs> it's about a lot of water, 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 it